So out of all the printers that I've ever used, um, there are two that I use all the time. One of them is the Mark III S from Prusa that I use for all the fan shutdown stuff. Just a solid printer and you always know it's gonna work. But the other one is this guy, the FL Sun Q5. And I, I actually love this thing. Anytime anybody ever asks me, they're like, hey, I got about $200, I'm looking to get into 3D printing. What would you get? And I'm like, the FL Sun Q5, hands down. Out of the box, uh, the only thing I don't like out of the box is the part cooling duct. I think it's a little weak. It works, but it's not the best. But it's an easy fix because you can just print yourself another one. And somebody on Twitter sent me a model or a link to a model that they made or the one that they use that cools from both sides. And it's what I've been using ever since. And I really, really like it. It makes this thing pretty much flawless. I mean, for the price that is. I mean, the, the extruder drive is a little loud, but all in all, it's a solid pick and I would recommend this. But FL Sun is coming out with a new printer that's supposed to be just like this one, but bigger and better. And it just showed up right now. So we're gonna open it up and take a look because I'm really excited to see it. Because I like Deltas. Just look at it. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Do you like learning? If so, you'd probably like Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. So one idea I've been kind of kicking around is maybe starting my own website, if at least just for a place for people to post fans for the fan showdown. But the problem is, is I don't know how to make a website. But luckily for me, Skillshare has a class pretty much tailored to my needs. And that one would be Understanding Web Development, A Beginner's Guide to the Web by Christopher Dodd. And this class should teach me everything I need to know from how the web works to hopefully building my own website. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is a place to keep you learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, and after that, it's only around $10 a month. This is the FL Sun Super Racer. It's kind of a funny name. Now, I don't know too much about it, other than the little bit I've seen online after FL Sun reached out, and from what I can tell, it's pretty much everything I look for in a printer. It's got, from what I can see, a better part cooling duct, which is a big deal on that. I'm really interested to see how hard it is to put together, because that's one thing about like this Delta, the assembly was, it was pretty, it was pretty easy. Let me just pull all this stuff out of the box. We can see what we got here. Well, that's interesting. They give you, a, it's not a big roll, but it's a, it's an entire, 200 gram roll of filament. Normally you only get those little tiny spools, so that's that's actually nice. This is actually usable. Those little those little like free spoolless demos that they give you are like trials in normal printers. I mean you're better off with nothing. Here's our base. Here's the top. Here's the hot end. Let's see if it oh. Let's see what the cooling fan looks like. Oh that's much better. Much better. I don't know how loud it is but I'm liking it. The auto leveling switch looks to be the exact same one, so that's cool in case you have the FL725 and you lost your switch. Looks like you can use that one. Looks like they give you an extra thermistor and heating element, which is also nice. Oh, here's the big old legs. So yeah, a little larger. Looks like the rods, the arms are here. They look like carbon fiber. I don't know if it's a uh, I mean, they actually look like they are actual carbon fiber, but I guess I really don't know for sure. Well, either way, they look sweet. I'm sure they function just fine. Now, let's see how long it takes to put this all together. Well, it is a bit larger. But that's what I like most about both of these printers from FL Sun is that they're just so easy to put together. I mean, it took under an hour to do it. The Benchy literally just finished, so that's pretty cool. So we can compare this one to that one, see how it works. But first we gotta power it on, do the automatic bed leveling, get it going. Also, I seen that they sent you a whole new hot end, which is, which is pretty cool. Cause I know when I was first starting out 3D printing, I, did a number on my hot end, my TiVo one, and then, then I was like, what do I buy? How do I get a new one? But hey, you get another, you get, a, you get a second chance right here. Also, I like this little part tray because it gives me a place to store both of these automatic bed levelers. 
maybe. Yes. Okay, so automatic bed leveling should be pretty straightforward. At least it is on the FL Sun Q5. I would assume it's just as good on this one. Once we get it power, we'll turn off this guy just so we can hear how loud the fan is because this fan is actually pretty loud. So we can compare the two. Also, just so you know, the power supply has to be switched between 230 and 110. So just make sure you do that before you plug it in. Just a little dip switch on the back here, but we should be good to go now. Okay, that's a good sign. So the cooling fan for the hot end just turned on and it is quite a bit quieter than this guy. I don't know if you can hear it. I think the fan up top or no, actually. Yeah, the, the fan down here in the power supply is actually louder than that one, which is much appreciated. If you remember this one, I'll turn it back on. This one's pretty loud. So we'll go to auto leveling. Please plug in the leveling switch, which I have done. Hit yes, and here we go. We'll let that run its, run its course and we'll be right back. So that's all done. Let's take this off, put our nice little little drawer here. Now we'll move it to zero and adjust it for our layer height or our initial layer height. And then we'll, I normally do it by eye. You can do it with paper as well. Uh, and then I'll fine tune it when we start printing. We'll give that a shot. Well, that's it. That's the build, initial setup. We're ready to go. Let's, let's print what's on the card and see what it is. And then we'll do a benchy, compare the two. And then I know a lot of you guys have said that my, I have a 3D printed case back there if you haven't seen the video. Um, that I have my Minecraft server built in and you guys are like, you should cover the eyes. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So we'll print some eyes and we'll, we'll fix that for you guys. So the first print is done. One thing I will say I noticed is that the, um, the extruder driver is just as loud as the other one, so maybe it's me that just needs to get used to it. But the, the nut and bolt that was preloaded on the card works just fine. Looks good, screws together just fine. So far, pretty impressed. It's just exactly like the Q5, but bigger and better. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the SD card out of the Q5, put it in the uh, SR, and run the same G-code and see how well it prints the Benchy again. And while it's doing that, I'm going to design some, some eye covers for our little Dragon Minecraft server PC build. And I'll have to try to see if I have any transparent filament. So I'll see you in a second. Yeah, you guys are right. That looks, that looks 10 times better. So in this short time I've spent you using the SR, what do I think? Well, when compared to the Q5, if we just look at the benchies here, the orange one printed on the Q5, the green one printed on the SR, I think, to my eye, the green one is a little bit better of a print than the, the orange one here. At least when it comes to the surface finish of the hull, they both have some stringing that I could, you know, tune out with some more time spent in Cura. But for the most part, I think the green one is a little bit better of a print. Also comparing the two machines, the Q5 is 200 by 200 for build volume where the SR is 260 by 330. So you get a much bigger build space than you do on the Q5. Not to mention you get dual part cooling fans with shrouds that actually work. You get a nice hot end cooling fan that's much quieter. You get a dual drive extruder. You get carbon fiber booms with tensioning springs. You get linear guide rods. I mean, for the most part, I have nothing at this time bad to say about it especially like the build plate i don't know what it is about fl sun's build plates but like the even the q5s and the sr they're pretty much the same thing the sr is a little bigger but this glass build plate with like this coating they put on there works so good i've never had any issues on the q5 with parts lifting or falling off during a print and even when i don't want to wait for the build plate to cool down the print to pop off and i use the the old spatula i it seems like it holds up pretty well over time. And if this is the same as that one, which I assume it is, 
it's gonna it's gonna hold up just the same. Not to mention this one's removable, whereas this one's not really removable. So if you want to take it off and clean it, you have the option there. All in all, if I was to purchase this piece of equipment, the Q5, for two hundred dollars, I would be satisfied with my purchase. This piece of equipment for three ninety nine, if I was to purchase this, say as like my next 3D printer, or maybe if this was my first 3D printer, I would be happy with the results that I see from it. Not to mention, if you make videos or you like to record your 3D printing, that a Delta is just so much easier to do time lapses for. So you have to stop back after I've used it for quite a bit longer to see if my opinion of it stays the same. But for the most part, I think this is one heck of a piece of equipment for $3.99. And I think that if you were to purchase it, you would be happy about it. Same with the Q5. Till next time.